teach everybody MMA, the game changes quick, right? So you guys already know more than I do. So what we, if you make the UFC, what we hope to do is integrate with your coaches, your, your teams, your system, and help them explain physiology, right? Everybody understands the fighting piece. Nobody really understands how the human body reacts to the demands of fighting. So we're trying to bring those two things together and disseminate that to all of you. With that said, we are on the MMA floor, boxing ring, 20 foot, basic, warm up area. Some of you guys are gonna use upstairs tonight. Bag area, obviously. These bags move, I'll show you how they work. If you wanna get crazy on the power cube, I'll set that up for you. Not the Francis and Gunner cube. What, what, huh? what, what? <laughs> Who said that? Oh, no. All right, so 30 foot octagon right here, competition octagon. You guys are fighting 25 foot octagon. This is a 30 footer. Similar to competition lighting, uh, cameras, there's some read back. If you guys want to spar here, maybe one time we can get you hooked up with the uh, playback. Matted, uh, 2,000 square foot mat, padded reinforced walls. Uh, and that's, that's it, and I'm gonna head downstairs. chamber so we can simulate the oxygen level of 22,000 feet so that would be the base camp of Mount Everest so you can simulate high oxygen you do physical work in it so you run in it less impact on the body more beneficial for the lungs ultra G treadmill so it's anti-gravity treadmill we may actually have one of you guys that gets a little uh, lower body injury maybe you can come run in this it takes the uh, just all the weight off your lower body so you can still get some work without you know, pounding on your knees. Uh, we do VO2 max testing, blood lactate thre uh, threshold testing analysis. Again, how big is your motor? How, how, how does it turn on and off? It's, it's, uh, it's all information designed to give to you, to take away, to build your program with, or that we'll build your program with you using that information. So if, if you go to a trainer and he just gives you a program without doing any initial analysis of you, that, that's if you're getting a cookie cutter program. Our, exactly. our philosophy here is to, to, before you ever write anybody a program on anything, we do evals. I know a lot of times we get scared, especially you guys had a little bit of a craziness being in the hotel for so long. Yeah. We get scared and we just stop eating. What that does, your body just shuts down. Right? So you might be able to make weight once, but it's not going to really respond moving forward. So make sure that even if it's small bits, you continue to be very consistent with your nutrition, with your energy that you're providing your body, as well as the fluids that are going to facilitate your body to actually do the work that you need to do to not only make weight, but also to get better. All right, so that, that's what I hope that you guys will be able to use us as a resource as, as much as you can. Every time you're here, myself and my partner in crime here, Noah, will be here to provide uh, nutrition education, as well as product here that guides you through those choices. Uh, I will be, I uh, believe, coming to the house on Monday to provide some more generalized uh, nutrition education, and you guys can pick my brain at that point, as well as while you're here training today, let's start it out. If you have questions, if you have concerns, let's get that conversation going um, between you and myself, bring your coaches in if, if that's helpful, so that we can all be on the same page and make sure that you're making weight effectively, efficiently, so that you go compete hard and, and, and live out your dreams. 
Okay. Question to beef out of a taco from Taco Bell. Is that still good for beef? <laughs> I think that sounds like a one-on-one -on -one challenge. Right. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like a heavyweight question. <laughs> Heavyweights have a um, coat. <laughs> just we, they talk we way want to divide the, the uh, no, I guess. There's no meat, there's no meat. Did we want to divide the cast up in the locker rooms? Because we're ready for you guys to train. I, some of the things that I still do, like weight management tactics, like uh, the way the way I learned a lot from the other guys being on the show more than I ever thought I would. And I, you know, 14 years later, I'm still, you know, falling back on, on some of the stuff I learned. Just some of the ways I learned to train on the show. It's a very cool atmosphere. You all have a different style. You've all done different things. So try and learn as much as you can. Um, with that said, thank you and good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.